A long weekend is just an excuse to get a long way from boring. With models up to 62 horsepower or room for four. Go rugged, go big, go gated. Stop by our dealership for special offers taking place for a limited time. Get great deals and service on legendary John Deere equipment. And welcome to the Georgia Southern Post Game Report. We're here at the Georgia Dome. Joining me is Matt Yogis, the sports editor and Georgia Southern beat writer for the Statesboro Herald. And Matt, we talked about it on our Eagles Nest show that if we thought if this game were close at the half, it would probably end up being a close game down the stretch. But what do we know? We're just over here just to be talking heads and don't believe everything we say. Georgia Southern comes out. They score 69 points. The two teams combined for 100 points. Georgia Southern sets a Sun Belt record in the process, rushing for over 600 yards. Your thoughts on the game? Well, Georgia State's played Alabama. They played a lot of big teams, never given up this many points. It's the most points and yards they've ever allowed in a football game. And like you said, Georgia Southern, a uh, Sun Belt record in rushing and a career day for Matt Breida. You mentioned we thought if it was close at the half, it would be close at the end. Well, in that situation, give the ball to Matt Breida. He scored on the first play of the third quarter from 75 yards out. He finished with 201 yards, four touchdowns for him. And that was only a third of Georgia Southern's rushing offense. Well, you look around the stadium here at the Georgia Dome and it was by far Georgia Southern a lot more, maybe three to one would be my guess. 28,000 come out and Georgia Southern in the whiteout, you could see all over the stadium, lots of white. And I know that had to help the team be a little fired up when they took the field. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a game, they had a bye week last week, so they've really had two weeks to get fired up for this ball game. Obviously they came out excited, so did Georgia State, really just trading scores there in the first half for most of the way. But Georgia Southern gets a turnover, a great interception. And from there on, Georgia Southern scored 2,800 answered points, really put the game out of reach. And for Georgia Southern, I guess they, they, they earned the U. <laughs> yeah, and there at the end of the game, it was kind of interesting because Georgia Southern had, had been, the Chillers had been running out with a G and an S. At the end, they put the U up there, and uh, the crowd was a little excited, don't you think? Yeah, I told Don Heath in the press box from the Savannah Morning News, I said, you wait, they're going to bring the U out. He said, no, nah, they don't bring the U on the road. They, you know, I said, just wait for it, and it happened. Yeah. Fortunately, Gus came in and made him rearrange <laughs> it to spell out his name to make things a little more kosher for, for the whole crowd. But it was a fun day for Georgia Southern to play in front of their fans in the Georgia dome and really you know four days from now they got to do it again so they don't have a whole lot of time to enjoy it all right well let's get out and see some of the highlights from georgia southern and georgia state georgia southern hitting the field at the georgia dome for only the second time in school history the first ever meeting between the two gsus georgia southern and georgia state a wide out seeing about 20,000 of the 28,000 plus on hand supporting the visiting team the panthers up 3-0 early, the Eagles respond though, L.A. Ramsby, the first down run, then Kevin Ellison, the pitch to Matt Breida, who once again is back at scoring the first Georgia Southern touchdown of the game, 7-3. Still in the first, Ellison will scramble. He gets out of trouble and picks up a Georgia Southern first down. He'd finish with 115 yards rushing in the game. That would lead to Ellison keeping it himself. And he's in from nine yards away. And it's 14 to three Eagles. In the second, Georgia State answers with the touchdown pass from Nick Arbuckle to Donovan Harden, 14-10. This one far from over in the ensuing kickoff, Monte Crockett in the open field and he'd have scored if not for an illegal trip by Will Lutz, not called though. Fabian Upshaw in at quarterback and he'll pitch to Zach Walker. A nice spin move. And he dives in for the touchdown, 20 to 10 Eagles. Again, the Panthers answer. Arbuckle hangs one up for Harden to run under. He'd finish with a school record 186 yards receiving and four touchdowns, but there's no stopping the Eagles on this night. Ellison ahead for another first down run. And then it's LA putting the Ram in Ramsby plowing his way in 27 to 17 eagles at the half georgia southern starts the second half with a bang the give to matt Breida, and he's gone 
75 yards as he gets outside and outraces the Panthers to the end zone. The Eagles extend the lead to 34-17. They were far from done though. Ellison five for six through the air, including this 22 yard completion to Monte Crockett who rips it away from the defender. Ellison then finds a seam up the middle as he picks up 15 yards down to the five. From there, the give will go to Breida, his third touchdown of the game. 41-17 Eagles still in the third and Fabian Upshaw back in. He turns the corner and picks up 15 yards in a first down. That drive capped off by L.A. Ramsby, his second score of the game. It's 48-17 Georgia Southern. The Panthers add another touchdown, Arbuckle to Harden. Then back to Breida, the 61-yard touchdown run. He'd finished with over 200 yards rushing. The Eagles set a Sun Belt record with over 600 yards rushing as a team. Ian Days gets in on the fun. He goes in from 15 yards out to make it 62-24. to Finally, they give to senior Dennis Pritchard his first ever Eagle touchdown and the battle of GSU goes to Georgia Southern easily as they win this one going away by a final count of 69 to 31. 2013 has been a great year for all of us. Got a couple things that ideas. Get out of my office. Yes. Get into TC Outdoors and get out. Hunting season's here and TC Outdoors has everything you need. TC Outdoors, Northside Drive East in Statesboro or tc-outdoors.com. Your hunting and fishing headquarters. After the game, we had a chance to talk with Coach Fritz and some of the players about the big victory over Georgia State. We had this whole big rivalry thing going on. It was nice to get up here, get in the dome and uh, handle our business. It felt great. Our offense performed amazing. I mean, we couldn't expect no more from our offense. And on defense, we made the plays when we had to. So it was just a great performance for the team. I believe that this win will leave a sour taste in the mouth. And hey, we hope, hey, any, any team that wants us, they can come get us. We really hope the best. Uh, we hope that they, you know, they take this, they take this uh, loss and then they go on and have a better season or something like this year. But uh, for us, like, we, we just look forward to any team coming, coming down. They're going to be coming down to Paulson next year, so they, they want to see how it is in Paulson they can come see. We looked over in the crowd. It was just amazing. It was, the crowd was just full of people. The energy was just amazing. Uh, they said that it was going to be a, a great experience, and our fans made it great. You know, it was just great to be able to come to Atlanta in the Dome, be able to play in front of a great crowd. You know, Georgia Southern came, and they uh, represented very well. You know, we, we did a great job as a whole team, and as Eagle Nations coming out here and just getting a W. We came in this ground, um, to this game knowing our offensive line was going to do a great job. It's protecting and um, opening up those, those gaps that our running backs needed. And, um, Receivers did a great job on the perimeter blocking so our running backs and uh, all our skill players can make those big runs. Come out here, play hard each and every week, you know. We did a great job just as a team, just creating turnovers, just making big plays. We came out, honestly, I felt like um, as a team, we could have um, played better, you know. We still haven't played our best game yet of the season. Um, offensively, I feel like we did, you know, a really good job um, controlling the running game. You know, um, I believe we got the record, rushing record for the school. So anytime we could do that, we had a good day uh, rushing. Um, I got to give a lot of the, um, props to the O-line. Um, the whole week they um, busted their tails, um, just you know, going to work on their schemes and be able to pick up their uh, blocks and everything. So I wouldn't have the night I had the night if it wasn't for the O-line. You know, just very excited uh, about the win. <clears throat> you know, I thought our guys uh, played extremely well. You know, and, and really in all three phases we did some good things. You know, offensively, I, I guess a, a new FBS rushing record for us. I was corrected, it wasn't an all-time school record, but we're we're excited about it. I, I thought our receivers, our offensive line, our running backs, our quarterbacks, they all did a great job in the triple option. And, uh, you know, when you're running the triple option, you know, there's just as much possibility of, of turnovers. And we had zero turnovers today. You know, Kevin Ellison does a phenomenal job with the mesh and pitching the ball. And, you know, Matt Breeden went for over 200 yards. And, you know, it is really proud of the offense. You know, that obviously it helps you defensively when the other team's not out on the field. So, uh, great job by the O defensively. We bent some. Uh, you know, it didn't break much. Had a couple of key takeaways, which were important. And we had a couple of big kick returns that gave our offense good starting field position. So, you know, we had a lot of respect for, for these guys. Uh, 
Coach Miles and the staff really do a great job. And, you know, offensively, we just knew they were going to spread us out. And they do a good job of, of uh, you know, getting the ball out to a lot of different people. Number nine really had a phenomenal game for a really good football player. So very happy with the win and excited about uh, the opportunity we have Thursday evening against Troy. I knew they'd have a little bit more zip in their step, you know, just because of playing in the dome and playing in front of, a, you know, a great uh, Georgia Southern crowd, sensational crowd. Uh, you know, it, it's great that we got the numbers. That's fantastic. But more importantly, they're loud. That's, you know, I've, I've been places before where we have a whole lot of people and, you know, they're sitting on their hands, you know, and, and uh, Georgia Southern fans don't sit on their hands. They're loud and, and we like that. Clothes make the man. The surf shop makes him better. Find the look that's all yours. With a wide selection of only the best brands for gentlemen, it can be a very bonding experience. The surf shop at your service. Well, Matt, Georgia Southern goes up and takes a 69-31 to 31 victory here in the Georgia Dome against Georgia State. Hopefully this begins a little bit of a rivalry. You know, you hate to see it be such a lopsided game from the aspect of a rivalry, but if it's a Georgia Southern fan, I guess you're pretty happy with a 69-31 victory. And who knows, maybe this will inspire the Georgia State crowd to come down to Statesboro next year. You know, they obviously have a lot to work on when they come down for that game next year in Paulson Stadium, but I think the main thing they need to work on is trying to guard the pitch man and the quarterback because the triple option really on display today for Georgia Southern and the offensive line I mean you got to take your hat off to them they were just getting a push six yards up the field well next up for the Eagles we mentioned it earlier a short turnaround Thursday night they're gonna be taking on Troy at Paulson Stadium Troy has at least a day advantage on the Eagles even though they lost the game because they played this past Friday yeah they played on Friday uh, another one of those midweek kind of Sun Belt games but uh, Georgia Southern you know, only four days to prepare I think coach Fritz is gonna have this team focused Troy's an easy team to overlook just like we thought Georgia State might have been but they're not gonna overlook anybody they're three games away from winning the Sun Belt three wins so this is a focused team and they're starting to see the light at the end of that tunnel and Troy's one more step into, into that goal all right that game Thursday night at Paulson Stadium I hope you'll get out there and support the Eagles for Matt Yogas. I'm Josh Aubrey. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again next week.